Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Jankcast. Today I am going to explain how to solve the coder byte challenge problem binary reversal. This is one of the approach uh, which I solved. If you find any other optimized way or better way, please comment it on this video. Let's look at the problem. We need to write a function named binary reversal that take the string parameter which will be a positive integer. First, we need to convert that positive integer to binary and then pad to the nearest n cross 8 by adding triple zeros. Then reverse the binary. Once reverse, then again convert the binary to decimal. So in the problem, uh, they have given the example as like 47 as an input string. On converting to binary version, the 47 becomes 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Then padding to the nearest n cross 8 by adding triple zeros, the nearest number will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Again, on reversing that number, it will become like 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Then converting this number, we will be getting the uh, output as 244. So this is the test case, the example test case they have given. Now let's write a code. Now let's write a code for this problem. So the approach which I did was first converting that string to an uh, integer. So let's say like we will be using the uh, input as a string. So I can I use parse in and that converts that particular string to the number and then dot to string base 2 which will convert that number to a binary. Once the binary uh, number has converted to binary then I'm checking the uh, length of that binary and assign it to a value input binary length. So in order to check the leading zeros I use this calculation so we know like the length of that uh, string uh, bina binary should be 8. So 8 minus uh, the uh, input binary length mod, uh, divided by 8. So this will give us like how many zeros that needs to be added. That byte length will, uh, will be given. Then I'm using this man. So I treated in such a way like if the input binary length divisible by 8 is not equal to 0 then add zeros before the binaries. So here I use new binary, new array method and then the join method. So this is purely an uh, ES6 standards I tried with. But as uh, we can also go with while loop here, but it will take like three to four lines of code. In order to optimize the code, I went with this inline statement. So let's, uh, let's, uh, Look, look at again like if the input binary length is divisible by 0 then that input binary string will be as it is if it if not then I'm looking for the then I'm adding the triple zeros uh, before the input binary string once the triple zeros uh, has been added then I'm kind of I'm uh, so we got the uh, nearest uh, n cross 8 bits binary so now we need to reverse that binary input uh, binary string. In order to reverse it, first we need to uh, convert into an array. The reason was like, rather than convert, reversing a string object, let's uh, make it into an array. So we, by using a split method, we can able to uh, make that string into an array. After that, I am reversing that array. Then I am joining that array with, uh, with double quotes. Now I got that uh, reversed version of the input binary. Again to convert into a number, I am just using the parse int. Let's look at the test cases which I covered. The first one is like 278, I am sorry, like 213, which, will, which should return 171. Let's run this for case.
Yes, so the 213 was satisfied and 47, when we send 47 as an input, it returns 244. When we send 4567 as an input, it returns 60287, say, sorry, 296. So 47 should return 244. Let's try that. Yeah, which was already, let's say, let me try to fade this test case. I'm adding like 245, what happens? We'll check this one. Yeah, it returns false. So the expected is uh, 245, but the received is 244. You can go with try with more test cases, but as a simplicity manner, I tried only three test cases and it works fine for me. Here, the key point was like basically the string uh, manipulation method and the method to convert a number to uh, binary. So those are the key uh, things uh, we need to look at here. And again, like the code which I wrote, that input binary uh, divided by eight, so initially I went with while loops, for loop, but later on by looking into the net, I found this is a optimized way. If you find any other optimized solution or like more easiest way to resolve this problem, please comment it on this video. Thank you. We will meet soon on the next video. Thanks.